Hi, I'm Greg Brown. I'm David Ivey, and this is Dynamic Discussions. This is another installment in a weekly video series that we're bringing you about safety products and how to use them. This week, we've got a special guest with us, and his name's Casey Parsons. So Casey's a local guy to the area here. Uh, he is a hunter, uh, and he has an experience that he wants to share with us. Uh, and, uh, and it's not industrial, per se, but it has to do with height safety, uh, and it has to do with fall protection. Uh, and so, Casey, I guess maybe tell us a little bit about the situation and, and what happened to you. Uh, and, and kind of where you are right now. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah, so it's actually a little different because I do work in an industrial setting as well. So I do use safety harnesses and all the safety gear there as well. So it's kind of trained me for my hunting um, safety. So it was opening week in a deer season and it, it was Sunday and it was like blazing hot. And so we weren't actually even going to hunt. I snuck up to the stand, kind of just put out some corn, checking the cameras and I filmed my hunts and I forgot my camera arm up in my tree stand so i just you know spur of the moment i didn't have my safety gear with me but like every other time you kind of just think oh i'll be all right and that one time i wasn't all right so i climbed up my ladder and i wasn't even getting in my tree stand i was still on the ladder and there's a branch that i use to readjust my feet and so whenever i would grab the hold of the branch to readjust the branch broke and i actually fell from foot height to about 25 feet and landed on my back on my right side and uh, my right shoulder is already pretty junk I uh, have had two surgeries on it and so it took most of the heat then I broke possibly one rib they can't really tell the x-rays don't show it too good for broken ribs because it went back to place but I did end up collapsing both of my uh, lungs and so it put a put a hurting on me luckily I had my girlfriend there she was able to get me out but I messed up climbing without my safety gear. Wow. How long, how long were you in the hospital? Did they admit you and things like that? I, I was in the hospital for about 24 hours. Uh, it took about 12 hours for my lungs to come back. So I collapsed both the lower half uh, of both lungs. And so it took, they had me on, they had the nose cannon in at first, and then they put the oxygen mask on and bumped it all the way up to level six. And they said that they hadn't done that in about a year. And it took about 10 to 12 hours for my lungs to come back. Wow. What would have happened if you didn't have someone with you? What, what do you think would have happened? Or did the doctor share with you possibly? I, I think I could have gotten out, but it would have been very, very challenging. I had my side by side with me, thankfully. Um, but I was about a mile and a half into the woods and she had other phone calls. The squad was on the way, had my parents on their way. Everyone was on their way before I could even talk because like where I got, it's like, so I've never had a collapse lung before, but my best thing to explain it is whenever someone punches you right in the sternum and the wind comes out of you, I could like, I couldn't come back from that. I was stuck at very shallow breath. Couldn't talk, just kind of making noises. I mean, I couldn't breathe. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a very unfortunate situation. Um, you know, we, we always preach, uh, people don't realize, you know, you're working, think about it in the, uh, roofing scenario, you, uh, a residential roof, most of the time you're only, you know, 15, 20 feet off the ground. Um, people think, ah, it's, it's not very, very high, you know, what could really happen? But, you know, falling out of a tree stand is very, very similar to that. Um, you, you know, if you're not tied off, I mean, given some of the stuff you read online, um, you may have been a little more fortunate than a lot of people that you see in the news. Um, I'm a hunter myself, so always checking into that stuff. And you see, uh, unfortunately, a lot of articles where people fall and may be paralyzed or may not make it. Um, yeah. yeah, and it's several times a year. Uh, you know, we're, we're in the state of Ohio, uh, and a lot of people uh, that hunt, especially during bow season, are up in tree stands. Uh, and, and so some of the hazards that come along with, with hunting, which is a great activity, uh, is that you're kind of in remote locations. Uh, and you're far away from people, and oftentimes you're alone. Uh, so, you know, fortunate for you, and, and man, I'm glad you're okay, and, and I would say that you're in the minority of people that have a 25-foot fall uh, and are out of the hospital within a day. Now, I'm certain you had lasting effects uh, that, that we didn't go over today. Um, but, man, like, that's, you're lucky, right? And, and a lot of people aren't so lucky. So when you're out there, when you're hunting, when you're by yourself, it's not cool to not tie off. Like, you should certainly protect yourself. Yeah, so my, my, uh, my lesson learned was I've never used a lifeline before um, in the hunting scenario. And I'm going to tell you that 80% of the falls do happen getting in and out of the tree stand. Once you're in the tree stand, you're usually all right. Um, it's when you get in and out. It's the stepping from the ladder to the platform. That's when the accidents happen. And that's where like a lifeline would have came in handy. Um, if I had my safety harness on, I still would have fallen because I wasn't even in my 
wasn't to the point to where I was clipping in yet. I was get up there, adjust, clip in, then step on my platform. I fell in my adjusting period. If I would have had a lifeline on, I wouldn't, I mean, I would have still fallen, but I would have been suspended in the air instead of actually falling all the way to the ground. Yeah. So it was, it, it's definitely a learning lesson. Um, I'm very blessed. I know when I was in the hospital, I don't know if it was a HIPAA violation or not, but the nurse told me it, I was the fifth person that fallen in the 48 hours of the opening weekend. Wow. Wow. And you, you know what you said there, that draws a lot of correlations to working at heights for, you know, for, for work too in an occupational setting. You know, it's the transitions. It's the going from one thing to another. It's the, hey, you know, I'll tie off when I get up here and get to doing my work. But a lot of it happens during the climbing phase or, or the transition. So it, we appreciate you so much being here and sharing your story. Uh, and, uh, and you know, stay safe out there. And, and I'm sure you're wearing a harness, and I hope you bag a big one this year. Hey, thanks, guys.